like the beginning of my latest videos from the past couple weeks um just start off like jumpy is the best word jerky jumpy um and i don't know why they do that because when we first start streaming now i will say my techie son kind of gave me a reason um and i'm not going to go into it because i won't be able to repeat it but um and he's it's a the laptop it's a laptop it's that simple yeah. but in any event um i apologize so yeah. i appreciate you being you patient be? i appreciate oh yeah new subscriber that was earlier today yeah awesome. but um i appreciate you being patient at the beginning because what i'm trying to do after the live stream is try to cut that stuff off so for anyone returning to the bod later it won't have that problem but we are trying to figure it out and i will say that's one thing in this whole journey of live streaming we've really tried to when we find out if issues it's, it's all about problem solving troubleshooting and trying to smooth things out because we do care about what you're seeing on your end. Um, so I'm Philly Philly. Um, this is our cocktail stream. This is my hubs, Andy. And we are um, in the middle of the week. We're usually doing cocktail streams. Although last week we did some new content with um, a restaurant review, a takeout restaurant review in Philly. And we will be doing more of that. Um, and also this summer we're mixing things up more with some different content during the week. But tonight is a cocktail stream and it's one of like I'd say a real go-to favorite of yours. It's very simple. Yep. But but like when did you start liking gin and tonics? Do you remember when I was did your eight. parents? Okay, that's disturbing. No. Um, when I was um But like did your parents drink gin and tonics? No, no, no. Did My parents didn't drink really. I, I think it was probably I remember having a couple like in college and I think that's and I always liked it. So um that was really I think when. So probably second, maybe second year of college. Okay. Somewhere I remember the first time I ever had a gin and tonic. And what was that? And it was on the beach. So one of the places where, although, yeah, no, no, it was in North Carolina in the Outer Banks. Um, and it was a good, good friends. <coughs> Do you, any of you have those friends that are, they're like family. I mean, they're not blood, but they're like family because you're as close as, as family. And they're really um, good friends. Mary and Paul had brought a batch down mm. to the beach. It's when we were vacationing with them. And and I was of age at that point. So because yeah, otherwise... how old were you your second year of college? <laughs> well, it was... well, actually, I don't know if I was technically <laughs> of age because I think I, I know it was at least in college. Yeah, um, well, you got to remember, drinking age was 19. But not liquor. For not liquor. beer. Liquor was always 21. <laughs> That wasn't. It was. That wasn't. Like it was always not 21. For me. I'm okay. Only, yeah. I know you all don't want this kind of like business going on. But anyways, so they brought a batch and a thermos of um, gin and tonics, and they're like, "Do you want to have one?" And I'm like, "I've never had one." And I tasted it, and actually, that's my first association now of drinking it when you're hot because it was perfect. Yeah, it's nice. Because it quenches your nice thirst. For the, for the I loved it. Um, now, well, I will say it's not my go-to. I don't have it all the time, but when I do feel like having it. I really enjoy it. Um, so anyway, so we did a little diving into gin and tonics. Before we go into our special one that Andy has fashioned, um, do you wanna, did you wanna share anything about gin and tonics? Oh. He's actually spent years uh, researching gin and tonics, so he's <laughs> really well versed in the uh, entire history and uh, development of the drinks. So. <laughs> and by the way, if you like this kind of content and this kind of crazy Such banter, um, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Um, and also like the video and follow me on Twitter, Philly Philly. It's at Philly Philly Live. I give updates. I share beautiful food. I love the food community on Twitter. Um, they're, they're kind and they are awesome. So this is one thing that I thought was interesting. They talk about a gin and tonic can be anywhere from, because you always think of a gin and tonic, you know, that, okay, there's a part gin and then there's, you know, a lot more tonic, yep. right? This says that it's a ratio between one to one. Wow. Which is pretty much what I'm Well, that's, that's an Andy drink. Yeah. That's, that's, not a, that's not a Philly Philly drink. I, I'm but okay that's with an the Andy one drink. to one. Yeah, I, I'm not okay with the one to one. So it's for a ratio between one to one and one to three, which is kind of what you, I guess. That's probably more like what you, you know, would do. So, yeah. But that's probably what, what you would like. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little more. I'd probably run on more like one to two, right. like personally. 
So it's a highball cocktail, made with gin and tonic water, obviously, over ice. Um, but I thought the interesting thing was, if I could find it. And while he's looking, I will have to put in aside that we, I pressed him for measurements. And just so you know, down below, there's no um, confidence with <laughs> measurements because in our house, I don't know about, and please, by the way, say hello. Do what you if, want. You're, if you're watching, <laughs> please say hello. Let me know if you like gin and tonics, how you like to fix them. But he does not do any measuring I don't measure. with gin and tonics. So I, that was just a throw a in guess. the, it was a, like shot in the dark. So Just do what so, tastes good. So the cocktail was created by officers of the Presidency Armies, which is, I believe, out of England for the military force in the East India Company, which operated on the Indian subcontinent. So that's where it was. That's okay. how it was done. And it was actually, was it Queenie? Quinine? 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 It was like when I was trying to say sushi chef. <laughs> sushi chef. You nailed that time. I know. Okay. So it's because you're not doing this too much. I know, exactly. Chef. So anyway, that stuff, that was used to treat malaria. I was going to say, isn't that like a poison or? I don't know. But very well could be. But, wow. um, so then they kind of put some things together with it to offset the So that's the what it is, tonic water, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they offset some things to it. Uh, well, tonic. So quinine was was not with tonic, but then it went whatever, and then it went and then it went with tonic. So um, and then they added. I did actually tonic. know yeah. that quinine was in tonic, which I thought was always. Quinine. It sounded really sketch. I'm just going to be honest, but but I will say one. You can't talk about gin and tonics without talking about gin because it's the star of the show. Yep. And you have you have like changed around your gins as far as like what you first yeah, were I, drinking like way back. Like earlier in her marriage, yeah. what did you start with earlier in her marriage? I don't probably Tangare. It's Tangare, yeah, okay. something like that. But um, and you know, so I I drink Tangare and tonic. Is that yeah, when? Right. Yeah, yeah. And I typically drink Bombay now, but I still like Tangare. I'm not, as you probably found, I'm not. I don't have discerning taste, so. Uh, but I do like Bombay Sapphire. Are there um, any other popular ones? Because I'm trying to remember. Yeah, Boodles, which you have in your room. Yeah. Which He's share. got Boodles he won't share. So let me know what you think about that. We paid for college. You know, we're supporting <laughs> this, we this, this, this boy. I'm He's saving it for my move out. I want to celebrate. <laughs> and he won't share Boodles, yet we share everything. Um, by the way, I, I, this is why I love uh, food Twitter, because I just feel like the community is great. And one of the people that I follow, follow me, I can't remember um, in which order, but was responding when I was talking about this, that it had a great picture um, of what he uses, and he uses Olive Har Isle of Harris gin, gin right. which I'd never heard of, because I don't know gin very that's well a, at that's all. That's a higher end gin, right? Oh, it sounds yeah. like it. It was a beautiful bottle. Yeah. And he uses fever-free tonic, and there were quite others that were like, oh yeah, fever-free is like the only way to go. And so, I, so I've never seen it in the store, but I also know that when you're not looking for something, you don't see it. For instance, I'm just going to digress a little bit. When I was first pregnant, I feel like everyone was pregnant because I was looking then and noticing it. So, but before then, I didn't notice anyone was pregnant. So I think that's going to be. So now we'll have to look in the store yeah. to see if we can get some yeah, we'll try it. because he highly recommended it. So thank you. That's good enough. Um, who had done that? But anyway, so we are using Bombay Sapphire. Bombay Sapphire. Quick and question. Oh, yeah. yes. What was one you said that you used to drink? Tangare. Okay, that's for the most part. That's the other one I think I was thinking of because so, I looked at the bottle. The green bottle. Yeah. So you're going to be fixing me a Which standard. You answered Dan is the one that I oh. also had. He's I was at college. <laughs> oh my so he is going to fix me a standard oh, one. Actually, I think I got. New, sorry to interrupt. I think I got New Amsterdam because David had gifted it to me. Gin? They make gin? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think he. How did they just make vodka? No, they make gin. Oh. So I think I had gotten gifted uh, New Amsterdam gym. Do you want to just get these gym, ice gin from my okay. brother? I'm going to do yours first. Okay. So. I think that's um, why I've had it. So while he's making my regular standard um, gin and tonic, because that's the one I prefer, there's nothing wrong with the schmancy one he's going to make, the elevated gin and tonic. Um, but I actually really like just the standard gin and tonic. So, but I'm going to talk a little bit about... Um, so I'm going to measure just okay. because I want to see how close okay. I was to... Because he guessed like two to two and a half, and this would be for me. But anyways... Um, well, the ingredient you need for the schmancy one is elderflower. Now, oh wow. That was light. Is, is that, that two? Yeah, that's two and a half. Yeah, that's good. That's good for me. No, yeah, I'm sorry, that's two. Yeah, that's, that's two. Right. That was oh, good. That's good for me. Okay. Right. And don't like, you know, when you fill up the tonic, just fill it 
to there. Like, you don't have to make it go. But anyways, um, and I will say, uh, the elf in the room, you can notice that we do not have St. Germain elderflower, which is the gold, in my opinion, the gold standard of elderflower. Well, the, re the reason is, is because we're cheap. No, yes. Um, so, I mean, you know, as you've seen from our cocktail streams, there are some really, you know, lovely liqueurs that we do have. But like, sometimes you just, in my opinion, you just kind of want to cut it a little bit. And it was on sale and it had a good review. So we're like, let's try it. So I'm just mentioning that is not St. Germain, which is what everyone thinks about with elderflower. And elderflower, for the past few years, it have been having a moment in cocktails. You see it a lot, you know, in cocktails. Um, we're a little low on ice because Junior here forgot to <laughs> shut the, the ice drawer. <laughs> So in any event, um, the ingredients for the schmancy one, the elevated gin and tonic, um, include gin, elderflower, and lemon, which Taste is that. different. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Is it enough, perfect. enough everything? It's enough everything. It's perfect. So you guys, uh, down below in the comments, be sure to let us know how you like your cocktails. Do you like them um, the hub's way, which is quite brisk and stiff, or do you like it more balanced, the wifey way? Miss so. Morris? No, I'm good. You got, we have more? I'm good. I'll make sure I shut the doormat. <laughs> this is the family play that we have every day and night here at the household here at Philly Philly. All right, so Matt, I'm going to, do you want the, the two and a half and half like we? Yeah. All right, we'll try it. You mean three? Uh, well, well, two. Oh, you mean the elderflower. Yes, three. Okay. It's three uh, ounces total of liquor, but. Uh, wow, we're half. getting low on our gin there. No, we've got another one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, and again, was, the big was... bottles because my hubs likes to have the big bottles because they're more cost efficient, which I totally understand they are, but they take up so much space in our liquor cabinet. But you have which, a liquor cabinet. I know. So, I, I mean, want to take a picture at some time and show you the behemoth that carries all of our liquor. It's, um, but it is a pretty piece. And so we decided if we were going to have such liquor cabinet. Might as well fall off. It was, well, and it's a, it's a, a nice pretty I piece in the, in the condo. All right. So you... Um, okay. Let's see, we lost our music. Let me see what happened. So that there. was two and a half. I said, just put that right by the microphone. So that was. Got it. People are probably half deaf now. And then I was going to do a half of this, hmm. of the elderflower. That's fine. I wonder what happened. I'm probably going to go a little bit more than a half. I'm not like a huge, I love the elderflower, but I don't like it. it can, it's it's a very sweet, it's a very sweet liqueur. Let's give it a little bit more. So I did look up some information about elderflower. Yeah, and what the is Saint, that? Well, the St. Germain um, liqueur was invented in 2007, which was interesting, um, by, oh, in France, I believe, um, and by Robert J. Cooper, um, and it's called St. Germain um, because of the said, Abbey of St. Germain. You said lemon, right? Yes. I mean, that you told me. I put that lemon. in there, yep. Okay. Which is a Romanesque church rebuilt after the French Revolution. Um, Good lemon so. squeeze. Oh. What happened? I got a seed. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> But it was launched in 2007 by the New York-based oh, Cooper Spirits okay. Company, which is led by third-generation distiller Rob Cooper. And, and it was acquired by Bacardi in 2013. Oh, was it wrong? Yeah, but it does have artisanal roots. But it really... Oh, I'm having an aha moment now. What's the aha moment? That's moment? why it seems more recent that there have been drinks with elderflower. Oh. <laughs> because it's, it's been... I mean, when you see it, it's St. Germain. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but elderflower liqueur was around before Saint Ger Saint Germain, right? I didn't do that research. I, I have no idea. If you know how long elderflower has been around, please so let this us is know. Why I do the research. Typically. I just didn't look up Saint Germain, so it's just. But they went right there for whatever reason. I think because it's. Oh, like, there's a seed in mine. 
Good. No. All right. But there's six. Oh, <laughs> I can't win. All right. So oh. gin, elderflower, squeeze a lemon, tonic. Actually, tonic, squeeze a lemon. All right. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. You didn't talk about why you why you fashioned this cocktail this way. Um. I don't remember. No, I, I think this was, it was, I don't know what restaurant it was. We had, was it, we had something we, similar. We talked about it. We talked about it last time. Did I, was that Tallulah's? Garden? Yeah, I think there was Which one. Which is a, feel, a great, a wonderful yeah, really restaurant. Good. I think that was it. And that was the first time that I had, I never had a gin and tonic with elderflower in it. And they had it and I got it and it was great, so. And then you recreate it. And yeah, it was not, I don't think it was real difficult to recreate. Yeah, so. no, 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 absolutely. I mean, they, might, um, they probably had something else in there to make it even better, okay. but you know, it was pretty simple. So. Gotcha. It's fantastic. Tasty. Yeah. Good. So, um, by the way, Tasty. next weekend, or this weekend on Sunday, I am a little anxious already because it is, I'm, attempting to complete one of my grandma's most complicated recipes pastries um which is seven year cake and so that'll be on sunday i believe i have it down for 12 um 12 30 p.m eastern standard time so please um send lots of good juju art my way because i'm a little bit nervous um it's one of my favorite things that she made and i've not made it before so so if you all want to join along i will be um posting the recipe so you could always do a cook along now i will say it because seven years, so they'll have well, yeah time. it'll be a really long strain well i will Marathon. say i will say that because since um with her recipe it um there's quite a few steps one thing involves rising the, the dough rising i'm actually going to be starting earlier in the day and videotaping those portions and then at the beginning of the stream i will kind of get you up to speed on what i've done so far so um that's the only way otherwise i would be on here forever and I don't think anyone would really enjoy that. Uh, it would be a really long stream. But um, next Tuesday, I'm just looking here at, we're doing one of my favorite. Now this, I, I love gin and tonics as we talked about in the warm weather, but another one of my favorite drinks in the warm weather is Aperol Spritz. Oh my goodness. And they have a lot of those here in Philly, yep. um, especially the Italian restaurants. So that's an easy, just yummy, um, I don't know, just very summery drink. So that will be next Tuesday. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't so. think I'll be here next Tuesday. Oh, so it might be solo. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll see if a girlfriend wants to come over. All right. All right. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your week. I hope to see you um, when we are streaming on the weekend with my grandma's seven year cake. And to let us know how you like your G and T's, what kind of gin you like, um, and any other variations you have, because we love sharing. I think the best thing about food and drink is sharing recipes with friends. So cheers to you. Cheers. And have a great week. Bye. Bye.